drinking beer. But yeah, that's like the whole thing. That's the, the most Canadian thing you can do. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Belgian Jasper. If this is your first time on the channel, hit subscribe right now. I'm super excited because this week was the launch of Vox and Hops' brutal North America. Brutal North America is all about curating unique band collabs with metal breweries. 23 bands, 23 breweries, releasing 23 unique collabs the last week of June. Two of my favorite things are heavy metal and beer, so I love this project. I actually sat down with Matt the other day for an upcoming interview around Canada Day, and so I had to ask him, how is he going to celebrate? Oh, I don't know. I imagine I'll be enjoying a few delicious uh, craft beers because uh, uh, Vox and Hops' brutal North America will have just wrapped up where 22 collaborative brews uh, will have come out all across North America, across the states and Canada specifically. So I'm sure I'm going to be enjoying some of those because I'm also going to be on vacation. Uh, I'll probably be outside uh, watching my children play and enjoying themselves uh, as young kids should uh, with a you know responsible amount of delicious craft beers to uh, keep me uh, happy. One of the Canadian bands that is involved in this project is the Powerhouse Striker. So let's check in with singer Dan about this collaboration. So hey Dan, you're working with a New Level Brewing uh, from Calgary. So for somebody like me here in Toronto, is the beer at all going to be available? Or do I have to uh, uh, bribe a band member to send me some packages? I, I, you know, I don't know because like, I, I was just talking to the other guys about this the other day. It would be so cool because you know, you get those like awesome mixer packs. Like here yeah, we yeah. have like uh, Alberta, like all different breweries from Alberta and stuff like that. But I think like logistically for them to like get that done would be, it just seems crazy. like crazy. Like especially like the interprovincial liquor laws in Canada are like really fucked up. So I don't know if it's really difficult to get that to happen. But if it could happen, I would buy a ton of that. Because yeah. I, I just got to see the list the other day of like all the collaborations and all the beers, what they are and everything like that's crazy. So in this project, there's two brews coming out in the greater Toronto area. Um, I guess I'll just have to get a bunch of those and, you know, ship some packages in the mail to uh, friends uh, in other provinces. <laughs> It'll be like the tape trading. When we're drinking your beer, what uh, striker party anthem should we uh, should we play? There's always the classic from the first album, The Keg That Crushed New York. It's always a, a crowd favorite. That's like one of those songs that we uh, we played so much that we were just one day like one day we're like trying to think of a set list for a tour and we're like you know what fuck this song like that is the end we're not playing it again for at least a couple years so yeah, we haven't yeah. played it in a while but yeah that's a, uh, a real beer drinking uh, <laughs> well that's like your song. run to the hills that's yeah like. yeah exactly I can only imagine well I was also talking about that like a while ago with the other guys too it's like between rehearsing and playing live we've probably played full speed or no speed like over a thousand times I think it's like mm -hmm. crazy <laughs> So yesterday for me living in Toronto was pretty cool as well because Henderson Brewery did their Vox and Hops collaboration with Chris Thrash himself from Thrash TV. The weather wasn't too great, but nevertheless, there was a fun little launch party on the patio of Henderson's. I went down there to try the new beer and obviously get a reaction of Mr. Thrash himself, Chris Thrash. All right, we're here with Chris from Trash TV. Chris, first question, how far did you have to run away from the Slayer Summer? My friend, it was like, if Terry Fox wanted to go on a marathon, he would go around the fucking corner. I ran from the Dirty Schwa all the way to fucking T.O. The Schwedy smells pretty bad, but so does the Lakeshore over here. So to be fair, you got to take it with a grain of salt. Four check, back check, paycheck. It's a 200 foot game. It's an 82 game season. So, you know, you got to really give it 110% out there. 
Um, the Grozyski, um, not the most common choice for beers. I guess a smoky beer for somebody with that has had that say, yes, we cannabis makes sense. I What's mean, the... with, with enough bong, with enough bong resin in my lungs to like clear my throat for this interview. I mean, a hell yeah. <laughs> uh, so, so Jamie came to me and he was like, we can do an either an, Ita an Italian pilsner, kind of like a Peroni, or we can do a smoked Polish amber. Yeah. Greco Roman. I found my fair share of Peroni. Peroni is good and all. I want to try something new. I want to go to the fucking gulag. I wanted to go to the fucking smoky with a nice cherry finish. So I'm really happy with how it came out. It's nice and cloudy. So you know, when you look at someone through the clouded lens of the beer, they look a little bit better. There you go. There That's you what go. I'm saying. So are you saying that the striker guys with a, with basically a lime light beer did not do the right thing? I mean, objectively, no. <laughs> Uh, Don't get me wrong, I love Stryker. Uh, we all love Stryker. Vancouver Canucks suck though, terribly. It's there a shame. Go. They didn't even make the playoffs. Did you get a chance to try any of the other beers that are happening all over North America? Not just yet. Um, I'm in the middle, so we have the wrap-up party tomorrow. It's been, a, it's been a hectic couple of weeks, but I'm very stoked with the turnout. The fact that this many people came out with the rain is a miracle in of itself. I'm dying to try the Unleash the Archers one. Auguries looks really good. Cataclysm, Battle Crosses, beers also look very good. Um, Battle Cross, I think, was a sour hops. So there's a lot I want to try, right. but we're going to get the clear from that and get the fucking closing party good to go. And if not, then people just have to grab some of these and uh, be creative with Canada Post or US Post and ship them and hope that they get something in return. But you know what? You know, it says for buds, it, like the name's in it there. It's an easy crushable fucking Polish amber. And if you don't like Poland and you don't like crushing beer with your buddies, well, I'm sorry. You're a fucking World War II sympathist and you're not getting invited to my fucking birthday or my Hanukkah. Not there you even go. Jewish. <laughs> awesome. Chris, thank you so much. Yes, thank, you. thank you so much for having me, brother. And uh, well, we'll all be on the uh, virtual wrap-up party tomorrow, and we'll talk to you. Hell yeah! Let's fucking give it. Thanks. One. Cheers. Vox and Hops' Brutal North America is just one of the projects that Matt is always working on. So let's see what other projects he's working on that we need to keep our eyes open for. I drop at least two episodes a week. Uh, you can find those on all platforms, uh, podcast platforms, or on my website, boxandhops.com. That's V O X A N D H O P S dot com. Uh, we got Brutal North America that's coming up June 21st. That came out June 21st to the 25th. Uh, I am curating a craft beer list at a local establishment here called Turbo House. So when you go there and you order a craft beer, it is a beer that I have chosen for you to drink. I think that's super cool. I got a whole bunch of interesting things coming up with Mondial de la Vieille, and I also have uh, just launched my merch store on the Indie Merch Store, and I'm super stoked about that. Um, they make the best merch. I work with them all the time with Trip Chopsy, and I'm very, very, very happy to have them helping me uh, get some merch to all the Vox and Hops heads across the globe. All right, with that, there's only one thing for me to do. Let's uh, have a beer. Cheers, everybody. You are awesome for watching this video. Click right here to see more content like it and subscribe to the channel.